now let's make sure we do it old school football. Now, you're right? You're fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why, why are you in space, you fucking weird little fucker? Oh, mate, don't get me fucking started. This evening just hasn't gone right. Oh, no. I came home. I got the, I got the Dead Rising remaster. Nice. And I wanted, really wanted to fucking play it. Um, but I had to edit this week's episode to come out, because this week's episode will come out next week. So I had to do that for fucking ages. And I fucked up my dinner, completely fucked it. It's just completely gone. Um, I'm not actually in space. I'm in my fucking living room because I wanted to sit down and play Dead Rising. But fucking computer games, you can't just play. You can't just turn them on yeah. and play. Yeah. You've got to that's fuck around modern, for that's so long. That's a modern long. tragedy. Yeah. Ah, spend like four hours downloading everything. Then you've got to fucking download the updates after you finished fucking installing everything. And then you've got to fucking sign into everything yeah. as well. You, yeah. three, you, you get £40, you go in the shop, you buy Grand Theft Auto, you run home with it, pop it in the PlayStation, you play it, fucking Just ghost. kill hookers. Oh, yeah. mate. You, you, I, could, you, you could, you, between buying the game and killing a hooker, it's like 10 minutes. What's, yeah, the fucking... Like these days. The purchase of <laughs> hooker dead time was just minimal. <laughs> Why are there so many stops between me killing a hooker Ah, oh, mate, I, I just want to kill zombie man. hookers. It's like my comfort game from when I was a kid. I put, like, mm. uh, fucking hundreds of hours into it when I was a kid. So I thought, oh, I'm actually going to buy a game when it comes out, this remaster. I got a day release. And what's funny, on the original one, it came out so quickly on the Xbox 360 that the Xbox 360 didn't have a HDMI out. Oh. It was still on, like, composite to SCART. I didn't but know no, that was mad. I got a HUD yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> um, so... When the HDMI Xbox came out, you play Dead Rising on it, and all of the cutscenes would tear in the middle. Yeah. It was like, because they're trying to upscale it. I, I started playing this game, and the cutscenes are tearing. And I'm like, it's 2024. It's been 18. You've had 18 years to fix this. You've had 18 years to fix this. So it's like, remaster my fucking ass. I, I haven't got a fucking a Microsoft. Then, is it? No, no, it's a massive overhaul. I don't know. I've fallen for the propaganda. Because <laughs> remember, remember when you first had Facebook? Hmm. And you would just follow fucking everything. Every page, because, like, yeah. Yeah. So I'd fo I followed the Dead Rising page back from fucking 2006. So I've just been getting constant hype videos for Dead Rising. So I've actually been excited for it. I've fallen for the propaganda. I just want to play. I don't have a Microsoft controller. I've got a PS4 contro PS3 controller that Adam kindly donated me. Um, and I've got to run that through software to trick it into being a fucking 360 controller. Um, That's and mental, man. Just play a PlayStation, man. I, I haven't got a fucking seven hundred pound. <laughs> oh. Neither to fucking I. Oh. I've got an Xbox controller if you want to borrow one. A wild oh, one. Three sixty. I found the three sixty ones lasted forever, but then every yeah. generation after that, they're fucking shit. Yeah, but they do that on purpose. They can sell them off. They break easy. Yeah. People will buy yeah. more of them. The last, the last console I bought is that three sixty you see in the background, and mm. uh. I've never. I've actually saw PS2. I never had a controller break on me ever. That's the last. Mm. That's when I stopped buying consoles. I don't know what the PS4 is like. I've no idea. But um, no, I got. Do they break the the controllers? Break? Uh, I think the yeah. Sony ones, the Japanese ones, are fucking good. I've yeah. never had like a PlayStation controller break on me. Mm. But fucking Microsoft. I, there was this company. I can't remember what it was, but I bought a twenty quid Xbox One controller. Yeah, and I yeah. Bought, bought it back when I was living in Consort Street. Um, and the shoulder buttons failed because they used poor quality switches inside them. So I fucking changed the switch. Um, but then I saw that they got a lifetime guarantee. Mm. So they just sent me a new one, no questions asked, because I said it's the shoulder button, button failing. And I had it replaced probably about eight times. Okay. <laughs> Life, life <laughs> fucking idiots with a lifetime guarantee. I had eight of them, and all eight of them failed. So the only benefit now is I've got a really long USB to USB micro cable. I got fucking eight of those. <laughs> just daisy changing the leg. <laughs> oh, I just got miles of cable now, and it's so yeah. It's my cat's been screaming at me. What's, what's wrong with him? I don't know. He just wants my dinner that was shit. I fucked what's it. What's wrong up. with your dinner as well? You said that earlier on. Oh, I was really fucking looking forward to it all day. I was going to make yeah. like chicken and a white parmesan sauce with mushrooms and i was just stupid and lazy it's entirely my fault because i wanted to play my video game um, <laughs> but I just like, one... like you are your own mum talking to yourself <laughs> oh yeah oh and fucking i i can't figure out how to get out of space <laughs> sandra bollocks up there ask her about she got <laughs> well, how did you get into the space that's the first uh, question <laughs> yes uh, on the last episode we were putting funny backgrounds on 
because yeah. I lost connection because my internet shit. I fucking disappeared. And then when I came back, there's a giant swastika behind Liam and Nikki's just got gay porn <laughs> behind him. Just gay porn. And it's like talking to Nikki and all you see is a cock going into another man's ass. And it's like... <laughs> so I oh, put a funny it, background on. I put a funny background on. And then when I go to turn my background off, it just says, what background would you like? Here is space. <laughs> you know, the universal logo, like. <laughs> I, 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 can't, I can't turn it off. I'm the ISS Dylan at the moment. <laughs> I feel like, uh, reminds me of that like film Iron Sky. Have you ever seen that? No. <laughs> you ever seen that? It's about fucking Nazis living on the moon and that. Now, well, we're we're mental, years now ago. I don't watch it. But it's wild, but there's two of them. It's, I don't want to spoil it for you, but it just, it's fucking everything from fucking space Nazis to fucking dinosaurs. It's fucking wild. <laughs> it's Adam, great. it's frying my head. It's frying my head because you, your audio quality has been so shit for every episode leading up to now. Now, you sound fucking great. Yeah. Like, what, what have you done different? Push this button. Maybe if I push it, does it sound shit now? I've just pushed no. this button on there. But that, that's all I've done. What does the button do? What does it say? Direct monitor. Oh, what no, that's, that's, that's just a monitor out. Um, yeah. I don't know what I've done then. It makes mad. me feel you, like... You turn the volume for, It makes me feel like mm. for the entire... All these episodes, you've not actually been using that mic. You've been using some <laughs> shitty inbuilt mic because all I would I get haven't is, got an inbuilt mic. Uh, you've said that to me, but I think it's bullshit. <laughs> but uh, the audio, audio yeah. quality is good now, so great, great work. Or oh, great. Work. I might have been using the microphone on my webcam. Yeah. Did not know <laughs> <that> came <laughs> it. How many episodes? How many episodes? <laughs> Sorry. Got him. How many episodes have I dealt with that? <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that would be the only thing that would change because you kept on asking what's changed and the only thing that changes is I bought a webcam I didn't even think to look for a microphone on it sorry but that's completely my bad <laughs> look at his face go upstairs <laughs> it's okay the transition from that I got a funny story for you you had a bad day you just made you just put a cherry on the shit cake there it's okay, so then. many episodes of just I, I, dealing with the reverberance of your room and I thought he must be in some giant cathedral or some sort of fucking greenhouse <laughs> <laughs> but if it makes you feel any better about that I put a finger up my ass yesterday, so ah, okay. <laughs> right. Shake myself, there do. we go. Yeah. make me. This will make me feel better. Let's yeah. Go. So fucking. Uh, What's wrong with your asshole? Well, fucking my bar belly in it. So I've had a bar belly for a couple of years now since I fucking done a big cough when I had COVID, and uh, it's not been the same <laughs> since. But I have been to the doctors for it, and he just kind of poked my belly a few times. This is a while ago now, and he was just like, "Yeah, there's nothing there." So I was like, "Okay, I'll just carry on being in pain then." So I left. But then mm. over the weekend, they had to fly it up again. They were like, it's fucking still here. So I got a phone 111, 411 Monday, and they were like, but well, you're not dying. What one, is one, it? One, it's one. Like, you want to be sick? Is it like an, a dull ache? Is it a sharp pain? It's, it's like stomach cramps and like an ache. Like, like I, I can feel it constantly. Like, it feels like there's something ripped or something like in my stomach, if that makes sense. And it just yeah, hasn't healed. Fucking hell. But like, fucking, I'm not, I've not died yet. So and it happened it's not life threatening. It happened after you coughed really hard once. Yeah, fucking back when I had COVID. So it's just fucking oh. massive cough. And I just went over and just keeled over. I just felt the pop like, and it's just well, a lot of pain. like a hernia to me. Yeah, exactly, innit? But uh, yeah. I've had two doctors check me for a hernia. They said I haven't got one, but there might be one internally. So I got like blood tests and I got to give them vials of my goo and that. How was the blood test for picking my hernia? I don't know. Oh, it's just but, like uh, a muscle split or something like that. And it, yeah, it but they. Too. I said I had blood in my poo and that as well. See, so they're like, oh, something might have gone in there. So we just going to test everything. But yeah. Ooh. You got blood oh, in your shit. Yeah, fuck I. That's really bad. I'll be right, though. I, I feel... I feel... I feel... <laughs> Do a bit of internal about... bleeding, Dill. Calm down. <laughs> yeah, fuck off. I'm not fucking I feel, much of a puff. <laughs> I feel better about my shit dinner now. <laughs> oh, I'm you bad balls. We got, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we got shut down on that, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> but I've got to drop who off to the doctor yesterday, uh, tomorrow, sorry. And uh, I asked my grandfather for a lift down so I can just get out of the way. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, I could just give him the vial. My missus like, you can't just give him a vial of your shit and just let him go down. You're going to need to go with him. I was like, yeah. <laughs> I just had a baby. Vial? Well, probably with great difficulty tomorrow morning. Now I haven't done, you haven't it, done yet. it yet. No, I'm going to do a fresh one. So, oh, you yeah. got doc- you know, just make a mental when, note of everything that happened. Where, because when I, it's how big the vial. Not that big, so it's probably going to get on my hand, probably. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, when I was a kid, when I was a little kid, oh, yeah. and I had diarrhea, they were like, we need a poo sample. I was like, okay. So, I just blasted a diarrhea shit into a bucket in my parents' living room. <laughs> in the living room! <laughs> <laughs> it was a family event, everyone watched, man. <laughs> they, they, they when he wants to away, he gets very embarrassed if you're looking at him. <laughs> no, like, I say, I say little kid, I was probably like 14. <laughs> <laughs> Half the age you are now, like. In, in, hands, in, 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 bucket. in hindsight, I think the bucket may have been for sick, and I mis- misunderstood the assignment. <laughs> <laughs> but, 
Uh, so I just got the vial, scooped it, and just completely filled it with liquid shit. Lovely. Yeah, that's what I they just, want, isn't it? No. You mean no. Lime. <laughs> this is the hilarious thing. Because I handed it to them, and they looked at me like I was insane. And I was like, what? Well, they're like, see the, see the little You spoon. filled the entire bucket. Yeah! Well, no, <laughs> see, see the little spoon that's attached to the lid on the sample thing. <laughs> Oh, there's a lid. Okay. Oh, so I was supposed to just dip this little rod in some poo <laughs> and have like a tiny little, like a little key of cocaine. <laughs> just a little, like a pinch of poop bag. Yeah. <laughs> just like a tiny little sample. <laughs> and I, hand them, I hand them like 35 milliliters of human shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's a full metric shot. Like. Yeah. <laughs> and they're just looking at me like a fucking psycho. I'm like, what? Like, how, how did you get it in there? <laughs> good aim. I was like with great with great difficulty and poor oh, hands. Yeah, oh God, I've yeah. done it once, but I, I was on solids and uh, <laughs> yeah. it was a job. The vial, the vial was about an inch wide diameter, yeah, so I, I just tried to pinch, pinch it off. It was fucking <laughs> work. I got it all over my hand. It was disgusting. Did it you was... try and shit directly into the vial? Yeah, <laughs> you didn't I was on as well. I didn't know what to do. You didn't use the intermediary bucket. No, I didn't, I didn't to be fair, and... up until you all give me ideas, that's what I was going to do tomorrow. Like, my shit's a bit wet anyway, so I was just going to, like, just rid of bear and shove it into me while I shit went out. Like, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to not get my hand <laughs> shitty. There's no getting around it. Yeah. Pretend you're Indian wild. squatting over a hole or something. Yeah. That's what... <laughs> yeah, just pretend shit wherever. <laughs> yeah, Doc, I haven't got one in a vial, but I've got one ready. Do you want yeah. Can you catch? Just walk down there, just take a shit in the middle of the fucking hospital. Yeah, there's, there's a fucking sample. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh. Okay, yeah. hell. I will post updates where it goes tomorrow, though. <laughs> so, uh, how, how is the finger in your ass? Um, not as bad as I thought, but then she like kind of hooked <laughs> and twisted, and I was like, oh, <laughs> I'm going to come. Oh. <laughs> no, I, I didn't get that far. I've heard of guys going for a, a, a bum finger thing, and <laughs> it can cause you to, to immediately jizz everywhere. No, nah, it didn't feel it. Uh, it wasn't pleasant at all, so either she no, wasn't anywhere near the prostate. It's, just, it's involuntary. Gay. It hit the right spot. That's it. You're done. <laughs> the cum button. That's, it's like yeah. squeezing a toothpaste tube, you know? Can you imagine if you call that an amorphine drip button or the cum button? That'd probably solve most of like men's like mental health issues. Just a button that makes you cum. <laughs> It'll just destroy uh. your brain dopamine. Because I, I'll be in work clitting the button. Click. <laughs> clitting. <laughs> imagine but if you had the button. You just re- remember when you could remember when you could mod fucking Xbox controllers to turn fucking semi-automatic guns into automatic guns. I'd do that to my cum button. <laughs> I'd put a, <laughs> oh, he's, he's put a switch. He's put a switch in his blicky. <laughs> You'd just become false, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'd probably, I'd probably die of a zinc deficiency. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking zinc, man. Fucking oh, <laughs> I'm stressed well, that was a nice at the idea, wasn't it? <laughs> What's that? I'm, st- I'm stressed at the idea of going back and playing my video game because I was, su- you know, when you're supposed to enjoy something, you just not enjoying it. Eh? <laughs> yeah, you got buyer's remorse, like. Yeah, yeah. Dead Rising's the one set in a mall, isn't it? I think I had yeah. it for a while. Yeah, I love those. Good. Remember you had photographs in the first, in the yeah. first mission, is it? You well, you were a photographer, it, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah. Right. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I think mm. they've changed the voice okay. to the main character. I think so. Mm. It doesn't sound right. Wasn't there a beach volleyball game called Dead Rising as well? Or something like that? Ah, oh, that's Dead or Alive Beach Volleyball, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, we are never, yeah. It's a different yeah. game. <laughs> they're the ones it's a weird invent- name for a beach volleyball game. They're, they're the ones, Dead or Alive. Well, I, I think it was a fighting game, but then they re- realised, oh, if we take all the females' characters' clothes off, invent jiggle physics, <laughs> literally invent it. So, oh, that's much more popular than our fighting game. Yeah. Back in Heroes, man, jiggle physics. Oh. Can I show you the fun. games I came across? <laughs> Wow. What's that? Can I show you the games I found in my uh, in a shit pile? Mighty Mulan and Heroic Hercules. Well, the old PS1 ones? Yeah. Some, some of them might be worth a bit, man. <laughs> the collectibles, though. Yeah. I got, uh, uh, look, uh, looking at all the vintage games that I've thrown out when yeah. I was young and naive that I would love to have now. My mother's made me sell, sell my PS2 in about 60 games to my evil neighbors for about 40 quid. And like, even at the time, I was like, ah, they, they, you shouldn't be led. Like, this is like a way too little. Like, it's yeah. just, no, no, you need to get rid of them. No, but that would be worth thousands. So, my dad um, used to work for a guy who did some work for 
Nintendo back well, in the 1980s. My, da- and... my dad works for Nintendo. <laughs> my dad's <laughs> uncle works for Nintendo. <laughs> he says my dad's boss is trans. <laughs> Brands your leg. <laughs> well, anyway, Nintendo because they were Super with Maria guy, they like. <laughs> They gifted him five NES consoles for free. And my, so my dad, he gave one of these to my dad because he knew he just had kids. And he had the 30th NES console ever made. That's banging. Yeah, surely right? they, sh- surely see- they came out in Japan before here. Well, I don't know. It's a European version. I don't know. But um, I remember the seal number on it said like 000030, something like that. But um, my mother gave it away. Oh, they just don't understand, do they? Don't understand. No. No, fucking, <laughs> I, know, I know I've still got like a, like a fucking like a cabinet up in the attic full of Megas also. I know that's still there. And she's trying to throw them out there and be like, ah! Don't you I've got a Mega Drive somewhere with the original Sonic on it. Yeah? I've, yeah. I've still, I, I've got the Mega Drive too with some Sonic games. I think I've got a Sega Genesis somewhere. Oh, Genesis was boy. Did you ever play the mm. Sega Saturn? Or sick? No. It didn't have no. any good games on it. Didn't, have, didn't have the screen on the controller? No, you were thinking of the Dreamcast. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, well, never had then. Well, it only had. It's just nostalgia because I used to go to my grandparents' house and my uncle had one there. Uh, yeah, yeah. Used to play nights into dreams. It's like, oh yeah, what's that about? Cool. I don't know. It was this weird, um, like, I don't know, ambiguous gender jester dream <coughs> person, they them that would fly around, and you'd collect orbs. But it looked really mm. cool. It was like... I remember a game these... called Pandemonium. Oh, oh I, I remember that. I had that on PS1. Yeah. Fucking amazing, that was. Don't make games like that anymore. They made a Pandemonium 2, but... Did they? That's the sort of game you would expect there to be entire fucking franchises of, wouldn't you? Because it was so popular and such a good game. And it just stopped. That was it. Gone. Finished. Look. So a game I used to play the shit out of when I was like five or six was a game called Addy Boo. Addy Boo. I mean, you, my mother you, used to call me, I think. If you Google it, you might recognise it. It's like a, it's like it's like a, I can't describe it. It's just a guy in a house, and he can make cakes and stuff on it. It was the stupidest game in the world, but I spent so many hours on it. Motherfucker, that. yeah. It was like one of the old like uh, primary school games. Wasn't <laughs> yeah, it? yeah, man. Fuck. The sort of thing you but, play in school on a school computer. Yeah, it used to be like Pete Jerusalem. I thought, oh, but this is a core memory, man. There's a second one. Oh, but it's cakes, and I'm fucking playing this. Oh, <laughs> back it was like garden. You work out a puzzle. Yeah, cake. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, just the normal day to day things normal people do, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Do you remember um, cats and dogs? Yeah. yeah we had to go around and sniff uh... the smells, wasn't it? Yeah, and there was a baby's one, and I kept trying to kill the baby. Because I, just... <laughs> <laughs> I was sick of it. It was annoying. I was... <laughs> Most people lock the butler in like, the freezer and Tomb Raider 2. You're up to killing yeah. fucking babies. Because like. <laughs> you have to feed the babies. I was curious what happens if you don't feed the baby. <laughs> <laughs> you can stop it as long as you want. It never died. It was gutted. Bro, it's just there. He's like, Wh- where's, where's the molest button? Yeah. One out of ten, no realism. <laughs> oh. you know oh, what got me? That was a game. That was a beast of a game. Fuck yeah. Uh, what about you, Dill? Do you know what got me through about an hour's worth of work yesterday? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just, you, know, you know the RSPCA? Yeah. Just the idea that it stands for Rob Shag's People's Animals. <laughs> <laughs> a dirty dreamer by LA. Yeah. <laughs> Got me through an hour just sat there chuckling at my desk and people were like, what's wrong? I'm like, oh nothing, funny podcast. I didn't even have headphones on. Oh, oh but if we ever like one of us wins a lottery, we need to build like a shit film studio and just make like fucking Rob Schneider films where have you is Rob Schneider Rob <laughs> just like have you do different things <laughs> Rob Reed in <laughs> <laughs> fucking does he slay a supreme match <laughs> it's all bestiality porn that we make him do <laughs> uh, just yeah. stay with a gun just like <laughs> <laughs> we're going to watch this now <laughs> don't look at the blue barrel that's nothing to do with anything <laughs> anyway my fucking house got robbed what? yeah Fuck you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, I think I remember you saying about this. My landlord, day before yesterday, had a painter come in. I came home. And firstly, I was like, why the fuck's there paint on my like leather ottoman? Why is there paint all over the floor? Why is there paint all over the toilet? They've yeah. got a fucking sloppy job of this. And I'm going to make him buy me a new ottoman. And I thought, yeah. oh, wait a minute. I flipped my cat upside down. He's just got four white paws. I'm like, it's you, little cat. <laughs> <laughs> of course it was. Yeah. But oh. I was like, I went to reach for my AirPods from a charging dock, and I'm like, they're not there. That's weird. So I checked all my like trouser pockets and stuff and all the clothes I was wearing in my backpack and I'm yeah. like, I can't find them. 
I was like, interesting. I was like, well, I was in an Uber Saturday. I might have left them there. So I called them and they're like, nah. And I was like, yeah. no, I did have them in work Monday. So I thought I didn't have them connect to my Find My. Ah, right. Okay. Like that Find app. Is it? We can just track yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But I did have them connected to it. Oh, so oh. I open that up oh, oh, oh. and I zoom in on it and they're in someone's house. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to say on the podcast, but if you want to know the house in Cardiff, message me and I'll tell you. And just go <laughs> exit them. You know, yeah. go exit that house. Um, so I zoomed in. I was like, I'm sure that that contractor fucking nicked them. Hmm. So I got in touch with my letting agent. So I was like, by any chance, does the fucking contractor who painted my property live in this exact address? Oh, before then, I discovered it. And I was sitting in work stewing. Because I was like, hmm. well, I know where these are now. I need to go get them. Yeah. So the warehouse manager was like, Let's go over there. I was like, yeah. And he's like, let's get some tools just in case. <laughs> <laughs> he's definitely tooled up. <laughs> he loves rollers and brushes. <laughs> no, we took we took podgers, but we were going to smash his head in. Yeah, no match with brushes, is it? We, we were going to podge your guts out of him. <laughs> but we got there, and it got close enough for them to say, oh, look, you found them. Yeah. And you can make them make a noise. And if it's right in your ear, it's like 120 decibels because it's loud enough for you to hear it. Yeah. It's like trapped in your sofa or something. I was like, I hope this cunt is fucking listening to this. Yeah. You play it. No. So I knocked the door a couple of times. I was also very pissed off. So I knocked his neighbor's door thinking, and it was a poor lady with oh. young children. And I was like, it was like a, an Asian lady. Um, mm. And there's quite a lot of uh, racism going on in the UK at the moment. Um so I was just saying, I was like, hi, have you found my AirPods? And I was just, I was there in jean shorts, just a black shirt. Just, I, I looked like her worst nightmare. Not the jorts. Yeah. She was like, oh my God, is, this is a racist. A racist has come to my door. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and he's confronting me. She's like, oh fuck, this is how it happens. And I was like, are you sure no one in your house has found my AirPods? To be honest, I looked insane. Because for 10 minutes before, I was looking into people's cars and listening to bins. <laughs> you never know when the bins are talking. Minding your own business one day, you go open the door and there's a man who looks insane. You got my AirPods. You got listening, my AirPods. Listening to your bins, like. Um, <laughs> so I, 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 stereo I, mono. <laughs> I, um, yeah. So I fucking contacted my landlord mm. and said, "Does he live in this address?" He was like, oh, okay, what's happened? I was like, I've had something stolen from my property and I think this is the situation. And they were like, oh, okay. So they phoned me and they were like, are you in the house? And I was like, no, I'm in work. And they're like, oh, can we come over for a chat? I'm like, no, if you need any information, just let's talk about it on the phone. I want to get this resolved. Yeah. I'm like, okay. I'm like, they're on my bedside table where the guys were painting. Like all, all the paint had come off behind my bed because I'm a top <laughs> shagger and I slam that headboard in. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> I'm hitting my blicky cum button and just smashing my head against it. <laughs> the, the button's stuck, the back boys. The button's stuck. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, and they phoned back and they were like, yeah, we found them. I was like, all right, what happened? They're like, the painter who's contracted to do all of the fucking... It's a huge contract for him. Yeah. He's been doing it for like 20 years. It's got to be most of his work working for this mm. letting agent. And they're like, he hired a labourer and it was his first day he just took them. Savage. It was his first job on his first day. Um, idiots. So As the the contractor like um, interrogated him. He eventually admitted to it. So he drove him to his house, got him back, sacked him on the spot, Fuck yeah. and then went to the letting agent and delivered them. Can you imagine how much of a cunt you'd feel if your yeah. fucking labourer has done that? Yeah. It's kind of his own fault, or you should never like, do that and leave him alone on the first day. Like, fucking, yeah. at least go up the lick of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Touch the character a little. What a fucking retard. He stole <laughs> the only thing in my property other than my... You can track. That I can track. <laughs> yeah. That I can track <laughs> to his fucking front door. The only thing that you could just stick in the pocket. Yeah. Surely what if you would have like registered only... it. Yeah. Like, what's the... It... Sorry, you got your up. He's the only suspect as well. <laughs> Like, you, what do you think you would think? Like, oh, maybe the cat at them. Like, yeah. <laughs> and surely honest. he could, like, register it is, to his phone as well. Like, do you know what I mean? I'm sure he could wipe that off them if he wanted to. So he just didn't no, bother, I, like, covering his I, track. I think Apple products are pretty fucking slick with that. The Apple ones, are they? Yeah. 
mm-hmm. used to have a problem with it on the mobile phone shops because I, I used to work on one. People used to bring in stolen phones all the time, and the first thing we check is uh, the iCloud. Everyone yeah. who nicked a phone, the iCloud will still be on it, and you can't reset the phone without the iCloud password being punched in. Yeah. Mm. So a uh, little tip for you, if you've got an iPhone, put your iCloud on, because mm-hmm. no one can nick it. Yeah. But they can. But it's only worth parts, which is like nothing. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. What I've had it before where someone has nicked the tool off me on a site. Mm. I, um, oh, yeah. I was doing CCTV in lockdown, and uh, I was on like a little, it's like a warehouse for the toilet in the corner, and we were putting cameras above the toilet. Don't ask me why. That's kind of a weird place to have cameras, but I know that's what I got told. But um, I was in a sex warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> they wanted to watch people. They wanted to watch Adam get his poo samples. Okay. <laughs> we uh, we were up on this little roof, putting these cameras in. I put my screwdriver down. We got it on the wall. We figured we'd do it on the other end after lunch. So I left my tools on the roof. Yeah. No one's gone on the roof. We moved the ladder away. Thought, fuck it, we're fine up there. I come back and uh, my screwdriver's gone. I'm like, what, what? Did I? Did it fall off? Did it go in the back? I'm looking everywhere all day for it, mm. and I think, oh, I'll check the cameras. Yeah. And sure enough, after we fucked off for lunch, a plumber came in, did something on the roof, saw my screwdriver and put it in his pocket, and he did it right in front of the camera. Like, mm. do you know the, the freshly <laughs> installed camera? <laughs> The fucking camera looking like right in his fucking face, and it just, like captures the whole thing. And, and we out, we'd also done the outdoor um, cameras as well, so we saw which van he was in with the company name on. So <laughs> called up the company. I said, "I've got some footage of your guy <laughs> stealing my tools on a job site." And uh, yeah, he ended up calling me. But, yeah, mate. I was, I'm sorry, but I thought it was mine. I was like, oh, okay, you did. Can you bring it back. So <laughs> that was it. Then he brought it back a week later. But, but in the meantime, I had um, I tried to buy a new one. And uh, realize you can only get it as a part of like a seven piece set. It's so the only way you can get this one screwdriver. It's a wearer, it's a posh screwdriver. Right? Mm. The only way you get it is part of a set. And I emailed wearer saying if it's possible for me to buy just this one screwdriver. Yeah. Mm. And they said, oh, don't worry about it. We'll send you a free one. So I ended up with oh. two screwdrivers now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Funny how karma works, isn't it? That guy. Mm. Oh. Fucking talking about Carmen as well. Fucking, I finally had the ears closed by the ombudsman as well. <laughs> oh, can we talk about it? Is this the one where we could talk about it? It's the Watergate scandal, the bigger. Right. We can talk about it a little bit, but no, I'm very aware. We... <laughs> you know what he's like. You might get dramatic and try to do something drastic. <laughs> he's a favorite fucking he, puffin. He. Uh, when he fight, he's a, he's a, tell the yeah. story. So um, I'm gonna leave names out for the sake of brevity. <laughs> but uh, previous housemate of mine, uh, basically. Didn't check electric bills for the better part of like a year and a half by the sounds of it. <laughs> and then just stung me with like a 600 pound bill when he moved out. And then like every time I was coming to him, like, do you know anything about this at all? No, I don't know anything. But then every time after that, I'd be like, all right, I'm going to go get this checked out. I'm going to complain and all of this other things. Yeah, oh, you tell right. me something a little bit different or like, oh yeah, oh, that, that bill must be generated for when I've done this. But then it's all come back and it's been disputedly on buds and everything. And it's just come back to just him not checking the bills now and i don't know because uh, as a grown adult how do you so, not check your fucking bills so, like it, 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 fucking so it was his job to pay the electricity yeah yeah okay did he, did he pay uh, rent or anything like that no i oh, covered the rent that he so, covers council tax um what was it council tax uh electric and like water and i done rent and i done that in bed as well then fucking so, 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 he, so he's even getting a good deal then yeah, because I was paying about five, five, five fifty, six hundred a month was my lot. So like he was getting M three, and I think that, that was maybe like four hundred altogether, maybe. No, nowhere near water. Water's like twenty five pound a month. Yeah, yeah. When it comes to so, yeah, that's that's what I mean. Like be generous is four hundred. You know what I mean? And fucking yeah. electricity's yeah, it's just like three hundred quid he's paying. Yeah, well, well, I wasn't. wasn't paying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, fucking, and then. Like, because this has been over so long, this started in, like, April. Like, I noticed it immediately. So the first thing I'd done when I signed everything over is I went in and I checked the accounts, like a normal person would do. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then, yeah. then I was like, that's a bit of a weird thing to have. Like, I thought it was in credit, £600. So I was like, right, all right, I'll fucking leave it. <laughs> and then fucking, they started to try to take it off me then. Like, just try to take £600 out of my account every now and again. And it just kept fucking me up <laughs> big time. As it would, like, do you know what I mean? Like, I got yeah. a fucking six hundred pound lying around. And then I'd keep going back to him. And he'd be like, oh, see, I don't know anything, but this might be what's happened for you. I think this might have been the case for you. And he just like, but every time he'd just drop a little bit more than he knew something about it. And he'd just be like, hmm. But yeah, we're back and forth. And then I, I finally give him the full thing that I say, look, it, it, it's come back. It's, it's your fault. You can have to pay this. But at the same time, I'm fucking tapping. I've had to go through all of this and get to this point. Yeah. And he just turns around and he went, oh, to be honest, with you, I just, yeah, I never checked the bill. And I was like, if you, you knew check all the bill, along, man. Yeah, because. 
like, you know, this is what this is what I mean. See, like you can't not check bills. You know what I mean? That's yeah. mental. And like they were on there for like nine months minimum. Like you know what I mean? So like he had plenty of time to just pop in. And, and if if they were build in every month, so if you would have popped in and seen them, you could have been like, "What? Well, it's fucking three hundred pound overcharge, yeah? Should we sort this out now? We would have paid hundred and fifty quid each. It would be fucking done. You know what I mean? Well, you you shouldn't have paid anything. You should have fucking paid it. Well. Just, it, I don't give a fuck. At that point, we were living together. Do you know what I mean? If it was a fucking surprise bill, I don't got no any issues fucking out. But it's not a it's not a surprise bill. It's a bill he didn't pay. You were yeah. so nice and forgiving, but he tried to fucking gaslight there at the end, didn't he? he yeah, before... he done it again today. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he twisted fuck. my head up again now. Oh, sorry to feel like I sound like a woman and all that, but I've had a really hard week on holidays. I was like, ah, give me a, holiday. <laughs> a holiday. Hard week on holidays. Fucking hell. Yeah. Where is it? A hard week of arguing. Yeah. It's like, fuck off. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Don't go on holidays with somebody you're going to fucking argue with then. Like, fucking. <laughs> Uh, well, you pay you pay for his holiday with electricity, yeah. man. Cheeky bastard. Well, yeah, well, fuck it, he's going to pay this back straight after his holiday now, so he's fucked himself up. But money. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. But, man, he was gaslighting too hard, wasn't he? he yeah, was man, no, it's just... I, you, know, you just argued on feelings that fucking really riled me yeah. up. So it was like, he oh, girl argued. He yeah. girl argued. He was like, I, I, what was it? He was like, I'm shocked that you think I would do this. Yeah, and then he I'm played... He played the I'm stupid card. Yeah. He did the fucking, oh, I'm not smart enough to pull this off. I'm like, wow. no. You, <laughs> you're not. The debt, you're go you're not like yeah. you the debt is because you're a fucking moron. <laughs> but then you've been deceptive to yeah. you that's looked after him for fucking months. He yeah, I told him that as well. I was like, I'd done you a favour in the end. Like, because like, he fucking moved back in with me. I was like, I didn't need to fucking do that. <laughs> Fuck yeah. What do you reckon he spent the money on? All day. <laughs> <laughs> Does he have any hobbies or interests? Is he, is he yeah, being a habit? fucking asshole. <laughs> I don't know. I've had a hard week on holiday. I can't deal with this. You know, in Goodfellas, when they start turning up in fur coats and he, he kicks off, is it like that? Yeah. Up one day and he's got like, where'd you get that, where'd you get that fur coat from, dude? <laughs> oh, I've where's had a good get, run with money. <laughs> where's no one get that big stall? Because he's well, always earned more money than me as well. Like, So like, it should never be an issue. Do you know what I mean? It's fucking so bizarre. You were paying like 550 a month and he was probably paying about 200 a oh, month he month. was giving me about like fucking he was giving me a couple hundred as well like even it out but like that was for food shop and stuff as well do you know what i mean fucking so we did even out like it, it was a lot it was, it was a lot more even than that sounded then i will give him credit but uh but uh yeah i find it weird that you sort of you sort of combined your lives could you live yeah. together you did a food shop yeah. together i never did yeah that. that's, oh no that's it's just fucking insane. I just that's buy a insane. big fucking food shop because I fucking work from home and he was like, constantly up the house so it'd be the only kind of cook in see so I just used to cook big batches of shit like you know what I mean no. <laughs> no, no. I have a feeder though. Like, don't know if I live with you, but I've been cooking new food. Do you know what I mean? I, know, I, I, I like cooking food. Like, I fucking eat my mum. If there's two things you. Adam likes, is fucking cooking food and shit in blood. Like, yeah, fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> Pay electric bills as well. I know. Yeah. I am Texan, but. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah. Been a very mm. dramatic week, like, but yeah. Are you going to fight them? Are you going to fight them? No, because he'll just cry before he even hit them. It'll be like, hitting a woman then. There'll be no fight in him. Look at him. He's dead behind the eyes now. Well, fucking man. Can you choose me as your champion and I'll fight him? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but Can you imagine yeah, that? Don't Invite don't. him to a party and it's like, right, it's time for retribution and I show up in armour. <laughs> <laughs> Not even scary, just a mankini in Greece. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking paladin of Aberdeen. <laughs> okay. This sword oozes righteousness. <laughs> Again. You will be judged. <laughs> yeah. Fucking hell, I, I had a judge not lest ye be judged moment. Fucking oh, hell, yeah. 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 Um, last week on the podcast, I was talking about this tramp that got caught short in my alley and did a diarrhea. <laughs> yeah. Did, did a alley diarrhea. And I, mo- <laughs> I, I mocked him for a while. Mocked him for a while. You knew mocked- this homeless, like... I, I was, um, oh no, on the podcast I was mocking. <laughs> you just openly just shouted this homeless no, man about shit. <laughs> no, no, I wish. But I was coming home, and I almost got caught short. It was like, I was in the office, oh. and you know when you feel a, brew, uh, a poo brewing? I ignored yeah. those, because I wanted to come home and play my video game. <laughs> but I got into Sainsbury's <laughs> on the way home to pick up garlic, and then all of a sudden, it, it got more intense. I was like, oh, fuck. The garlic, the garlic triggered it like a vampire. Yeah. Mm. Uh, That's I was, end, isn't it? Probably about four minutes away from my house. You know when you're just squeezing your hands together like I'm wringing your fingers. And I'm yeah, starting, gonna clam, like... yeah, and I was starting to cold sweat. And every now and again, I'd have to completely stop walking and just tense my entire lower body <laughs> and just try and like suck it back up inside okay. me. You're killing your toes, and I just go in. And just like <laughs> ride <Yeah>. the wave. <laughs> oh, but and then I, I got to the area where the tramp shit, and I just had to stop. 
the only thing holding it in was cheeks. <laughs> and I was like, this, this, has, this has breached rectum now. <laughs> this is, this is and I, I just looked it's at the tramp, I looked at the tramp's shit and I just thought, oh, judge not lest you be judged. <laughs> <laughs> Should have marked his territory back, but taking yeah, it back. <laughs> oh, but there, but for the grace of God goes my fucking alley shit. <laughs> but mm. I made it home and it was one of those, I had to do it like an acrobatic movement. Ah, like just, one belt sweep, like in, do, yeah, your, do your fucking trousers at the same time, twirl around, like. Yeah, definitely. And it's just like, I was stood in front of the toilet prepared, you know, and they like stiffen up and I was like choking my hands up. And it's like, right, three, two, <laughs> one, whip boxes down. And as soon as I put like a one degree tilt on my pelvis, just start shitting, you know, cheek, <laughs> cheeks are not on the fucking. The kids <laughs> were dropped off before the car stopped. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It, it was, it was, um, what's it called? Uh, like a hot drop, you know. Fuck, going I can pebble dash that picture of Jesus you got in the back of heaven. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, I've done this so many times. Just straight in the bowl. No mess. No fucking. Perfect. That's all I know. Yeah, and it was one of those, you, you go to wipe your ass, and it's like, whoa, this might be a shower job. <laughs> I still haven't hit that point yet. I've never shit that badly. I've needed a shower. Oh, it's, it's That's coming though. really. Yeah. To be fair. <laughs> <laughs> Sacred leg. Fuck <laughs> Oh, one minute. My message messaged me, and I was in such a rage. I didn't reply to her. So she's like, you didn't answer me. Are you home yet? I'm like, no, I'm shitting in an alley. <laughs> I I um I <laughs> I I was in a rambunctious mood in work today. I was in a fun rambunctious mood, so I was just annoying everyone. Yeah. Um I just went into HR's office and just bothered HR for ten minutes. Sack me in, uh, sack me in. <laughs> oh, yeah. And the problem is because she's laughing, I'm like, yeah, this we're developing a rapport now, so I'm gonna annoy you quite consistently. Yeah. Um But we were in the kitchen and one of the managers of one of the teams was she, she's having gluten free stuff and she's t- saying like, oh yeah, I found that I was getting bloated. And I mm. said to one of my team who, and I said it much louder than I thought. I was like, isn't it mad how women say, oh, I'm bloated for when they just have burning hot diarrhea. <laughs> so, I've never put that together. I've yeah. Never. When a woman says, oh, I, I, I just felt a little bloated, that means they were blasting the shit there. <laughs> oh, they, like they, no. they, they were trying to get in. And yeah. It's like that other code they use when they go to the toilet, the powder they nose, and they don't do cocaine. Like, what the fuck's that about? Uh, burning hot diarrhea. Blasting, yeah. ti- blasting tides of diarrhea. But I said that, and I started laughing beside me. And then the people that she was talking to started laughing. And I look over and they're looking at me. And this woman goes, what do you say, Dale? I said, isn't it mad how you say that it's a coat? You're like, oh, I just felt a little bloated. It means that you are just absolutely battering a pan. <laughs> she goes, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm like, yeah, yeah. There's no way I'd move to gluten-free bread unless my fucking shits were bothering me. <laughs> like, it's not, that's not what it means. I'm like, yeah, it's girl talk. For, I, I can't control my poo. <laughs> there was a mixed reaction to that in the canteen yeah some solid some liquid <laughs> yeah. oh fucking hell guy oh. oh yeah so that's what's going on with me Rob what's up not very much I haven't really been doing I've just been doing work in my house and playing video games and just lounging yeah. around the last two weeks I've had no work so I've been bored out my fucking nuts Oh yeah. Saying that, talking about nuts, I got really pissed off last night because I discovered that a coconut is not a nut. What is it? It's a, it's a seed. It's a, it's a, is it's it a fruit. fruit. It's a fruit. Annoyingly, it's a fruit. It's the seeds inside. Isn't I mean, it? it's called a coconut. Why? Why is it called a nut? Why is it not a nut? Yeah. Really why is it called a peanut off, right? when it's like a fucking legume? Like, yeah, don't they oh. grow in the ground as well? Peanuts. They do. Yeah. Do they? Like yeah. Truffles. Yeah. Like, oh, that yeah. Sounds, yeah. That sounds mean. Like potatoes that grow under the ground like a root, like it's mad. Mm. Dirt nuts. What, what do they grow? Oh, do they grow into a peanut tree? Yeah, it like shoots out with the like, leaves and then you pull the full plant out and like it's all underneath with the roots all the peanuts, huh? Bad luck. I, I could have sworn like a coconut is a nut because it drops off a tree, doesn't it? But it's a type of fruit. But you do eat the insides like a fruit, man, don't you? Yeah, but it's got a hard out. But uh, to me, a fruit... Orange has got is, a hard outside. It, a fruit Pineapples. to me is a, is a, is a, is a, yeah. it's a seed with a, with a soft ex- exoskeleton that's edible. And, and then... Nuts, 
a tough protective coat in. Mm. No, like a coconut. You yeah, the coconut's the exception. Because no, it's, it's nuts, quite, it's, a nut is a seed and it's edible, but it's got a hard exoskeleton. That's the difference between a nut and a fruit. That's why it should be. Hmm. Uh, don't coconuts really... kill more people a year than sharks what? as well? Sharks, like, yeah. A walnut yeah. is a fruit. Fuck, guy. Fruity duty. I, re- I really fucking regret asking Rob what's going on in his life. Is a, wal- <laughs> <laughs> is a walnut a nut? <laughs> Look how shocked he is by this. He's yeah. baffled, man. This has broken his head. He looks genuinely troubled about her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Peanuts, almonds aren't a nut either. What the fuck? What's a nut then? <laughs> it droops. Uh, what the fuck's a droop? We've oh, it's stumbled just, it's onto a conspiracy. <laughs> Nothing's actually a nut. A peach is a nut. No, it's not. That's bullshit. What? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck am I reading? <laughs> what is a nut? I'm going to have to Google this. Now we can see what the fuck a type's about. Right, most nuts, such as almonds, walnuts, and cashews, are botanically defined as seeds rather than fruits. But they're not fruits. No one said they're fruit, they're nuts. Oh, this is, this is, a, this is, this is Pandora's box. No, I'm not fucking going on this. It's a nut. No. That's it. We're done. Have, it's a nut. It... <laughs> it's called a warm nut. You're not having this. This is bullshit. It's bullshit. <laughs> it's a coconut and nut. It's a fruit, not a nut. It is a nut. A stupid fucking name. Falls under a droop. A coconut is a droop. Okay. Oh, you're a droop. <laughs> Thanks for that, yeah, Peach is also a droop. I'm pissed off at this. <laughs> you, you were genuinely angry over this. It's no. <laughs> <laughs> fucking dumb. <laughs> a walnut is a genus Joglins. Janice Joplin, is it? What? Janice it's Joglins. So, f- Fuck so fucking boring. I am so boring. <laughs> I'm still fucking fuming that Adam has spent six months talking into a fucking webcam mic. <laughs> fucking great. When, Sorry, when, there's, when, there's been, when there's been a dynamic microphone stuck in front of his face. And so many times I've been like, well, this doesn't make sense. Yeah, it's like he's staring into his soul right now. <laughs> I'm furious. <laughs> Sorry, <That's>, <laughs> this is quite funny. Um, so yeah, I can't believe you got tricked out of six hundred quid. I can't believe he outsmarted you. I he didn't though. Well, I don't know. He, he did. He just seen like he... eighteen months. He tricks you for eighteen months. It's insane. I'm just fucking that. flabbergasted, like. <laughs> You were I just like, yeah, because if I guess talking about it, I can't stop talking about it. He's probably twisted me up about this because my missus keeps looking at me. He's like, you need to fucking let's go. Like, he's like, so <laughs> I was like, I can't. God, he's fucking done it to me. <laughs> yeah, he's fucking paid you off, but it doesn't help. Revenge, like, I reckon. Oh, well, yeah, definitely. Are you going to stay friends with him? Well, fucking, I don't know, but like, because you know what you I mean? Like, I feel soft <laughs> as shit. You were so, he could fuck you like Nan, and you'd be like, Oh, well, no, I think that would be a bit too far. <laughs> I don't think my man, my nan would let him go there anyways. I don't think he's his dirt type. <laughs> I know he's a snap well, bastard. She does like subservient, weak-willed men, so maybe, actually. <laughs> my grandfather's a bit of a fucking servant, like. <laughs> he tries. That oh, guy has had a separate bed since the fucking 80s. has been great. <laughs> <laughs> Why, so you can sleep with your nan? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I know. <laughs> No, it's just, I've never known them to sleep in the same bed. It's always just been, they've always had separate bedrooms, like. I wonder why. Well, I, some... That's probably a kettle of fish that I shouldn't open, yeah, but. <laughs> yeah. Turns out my grand has got a monster cock or something. <laughs> 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 but you don't play, wise. Oh, <laughs> 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 I have to do investigations until I'll get back to you, boys. Yeah. Oh, e- excellent. That's that's some deep undercover investigation work. It's like I've posed as your grandson for your entire <laughs> my entire life just to get these answers. Yeah. I just want to be a f- fucking journalist killing zombies in a mall. And I, I can't even have that. I mean, there's plenty of spice edge. You could just go in the arcade and have a bit of fun if you wanted to. Oh, don't I fantasize about <laughs> cutting a homeless man in half with a fucking sword for Samurai years. sword, don't I? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you say know it every it. now and again. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's heard that. <laughs> every now and again, you just go, oh, I just want to fucking cut someone in half with a samurai sword. And they go, oh, he's off again. <laughs> oh, but can you imagine how fucking good it would feel to completely <sighs> bifurcate a man with a sharp blade? Even though it's a posh word for it. What, what does that mean? <laughs> bifurcate, it means to cut in two. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Your yeah, hands would man. tingle after him and your teeth. How much is, a, is one of those gelatin mannequins? How much is a homeless one? man? Let's just go to Taiwan. <laughs> let's, let's go to China, get someone with a really low social credit score. <laughs> and I'm sure, I'm sure they'll let me cut him in half. Yeah. 
But I kind of want, ah, oh, can you imagine it? A homeless man coming up to you. And you just shout at him like, Oh my oa, no shin <laughs> <laughs> you. Just you hit. Go. Oh, dude, and then you just hit a powerful pause. Like a pause that you've practiced for ages. And then you just, oh, from the fucking shoulder down to his hip. Cut like him in injury. half. In front Does of he do that little, nice... a little ghost ship thing where he, he freezes and he <laughs> slides apart? Yeah. And, and it's just... It's it's like, oh, arterial no. Arterial spray. Arterial yeah. spray everywhere. Tarantino just... sign. It's like a 50 litre fucking splur down oh, to me. Yeah. <laughs> you watched Kill Bill like... too many times, haven't you? Fuck yeah. and, then I, and then I just put the sword back in the sheath and yeah. I just sit waiting on my knees to be arrested. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's got to have a dream, haven't they? <laughs> I put it on Facebook Live as well. <laughs> Get people donating, like. <laughs> can, you, can you imagine seeing that on the news and it's just like. He finally did it. He says, like, you're lucky for you. Goodbye, sweet nod. prince. Yeah. You completed your mission. Yeah. How long do you reckon I'd get in prison for it? Yeah. Well, it's obvious. That's how long my social credit scored, isn't it? Yeah. And it's, it's clearly premeditated because it's like, look, there's documented footage of him saying this multiple times. This wasn't a crime of passion or momentary insanity. This, they'll, they'll play this episode in the fucking court where he'd be like, oh, wouldn't it be sick, boys? <laughs> Well, it definitely would be passionate, but uh, it was also calculated as well, mate. Yeah. He, sorry, he, he, we're letting him go. He just really wanted to do it, Your Honour. That was all it is. Like, yeah. He told you I wanted to see what cool. it's like. Your Honour, I really, really, really wanted to do it. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I haven't saw it. I saw him I'm, there. I'm, <laughs> I'm not sorry, and if would I'm you, there, would I'm, you... I'll probably do it again. i got a lust for it. <laughs> <laughs> would you... Have a preference on what kind of homeless you do it to. Would they have to be a miserable one or like a happy one? Like they could be saved, kind of. You know, you see like a mental homeless, and you think, yes, he will be homeless until he dies because he is. Oh yeah, that's a mental homeless who's not. Yeah, time. you're not going to kill Dave, who's just like lost his house because of rent or something, and he's still got three kids. Like that's a bit sad, isn't it? But like, <laughs> he, lost, it... he lost his house because of a six hundred pound electric bill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't cut me in half, and I'm down, boys. All right, <laughs> <laughs> oh boys, man, he's cut me in half now. <laughs> Slashed me. <laughs> trying to pull your legs back on, like. <laughs> ah. Yeah. And I can imagine uh, I'm in prison. And someone's bothering me. And I slowly pull out, like, a three foot shiv of just uh, razor Shopping. blades. Razor blades and collected and melted into toothbrushes. Into a giant. <laughs> into a katana. Oh my No sin day. And then cut someone off. He's done it again. What's that Aztec sword? Yeah. Oh, like a yeah. from Tenshu <laughs> with a fucking obs- Mac- Mac- uh, Mac- uh, with an obsi- the obsidian blades in there, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, it's like a wooden beam with like volcanic glass as a as a sharp bit. Oh, it would look like that. They made out of toothbrushes and razor blades, yeah. <laughs> just slicing a head off. <laughs> Fuck, my life could have really gone in a different direction. Now I just <laughs> we best hope nobody on- gets like a home. Sorry. Now I just shout on a podcast to get it all out. <laughs> I was going to say, Go we, we better hope nobody gets a homeless person in half of the samurai sword <laughs> after this week. Yeah, we do not condone I, these actions. I'd yeah. be devastated if someone st- stole my dream. <laughs> <laughs> you can sue them after they get charged for that, so you can get money out of it. That was my intellectual <laughs> property. Yeah. That was, <laughs> that was my Waterloo. That was my Hastings. That was my, that, that was my fucking D-Day, that was. That was my everything. <laughs> fucking katana gate leg. <laughs> Imagine cutting the priest in half at your own wedding. Fuck I far. Oh, but did I ever tell you about the I was talking about this the other day, I don't know too. Um there was a my vicar from Kapark was on the front page of the sun before. <laughs> okay. Forget it shit faced and uh barging <laughs> into a wedding and like basically like saying he was God and I had to lock him in like a side cupboard Whoa. when he finished the ceremony. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Fucking mental. Was barging the fucking place. Yeah, but you can Google it. You can just type it in. I think um come park vicar uh drunk a wedding and fucking it comes up like my fucking wow. Yeah, they all said he looked like fucking Jack Sparrow now. He like barged through, like fell over, cut his hand up, coming the room. And he just billowing in the fucking wind like going with his gun like <laughs> <laughs> absolute mad lad like. Mm. Oh, he was always a fucking oh, top lad like it's nice to know there's some good priests out there just fucking go mental again drunk and like not diddling you know what I mean yeah, yeah. Like, there should be standards drunk vicar stumbles into wedding ceremony proclaims I'm not drunk <laughs> <laughs> yeah hard to be locked was, well. <laughs> <laughs> is his name Brian Taylor that's the one yeah <laughs> that's mad isn't it I think it was like 2013 or something <laughs> yeah. that's class 
That guy. Fucking hell. That's, yeah, well, that's why my village is famous. <laughs> In the name of the Lord, I'm not drunk. There's nothing wrong with me. I want to do the wedding. <laughs> that's class. <laughs> yeah, the I'm here to asked... instigate Prima Noctua. Yeah. The, the, the photographer asked him if he was okay, and he said, not quite. He walked past me like Jack Sparrow, <laughs> tripped over the step into the church and fell through the door in front of 96 people. Yeah, he cut his Probably hand in the fall. dungeon. <laughs> Fucking hell. Do you reckon he's still bickering about? Oh, I don't think he did after that. I think they uh, sacked him off or he left. They sacked him for being drunk. Sorry, that's ridiculous. They, they're touching kids left and right, and then that's fine, but being a bit pissed. I know. Party. That should be encouraged. Don't they drink wine like every day for communion or whatever? Yeah. Uh, he just really loved the blood of Christ. That's all it was. Okay. <laughs> Somebody swapped his Rabino out for the blood bag. <laughs> yeah, so he was locked in the vestry and was just heard shouting for the entire wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Oi! <laughs> the Did anybody you... object? Yeah, me! <laughs> when I get out of here, God's going to be really angry. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Back eye. How awful that Replacement like. had to take the wedding. There's a replacement vicar. They had a backup vicar just in case. <laughs> Fuck the out. The BB like. <laughs> The vicar has now been given a month's leave to deal with some issues. <laughs> Fucking yeah, legend. Savage. Good man. <laughs> that guy. Don't make him like that anymore, do they? <laughs> no, I don't know many vicars. Yeah. That's only what I know. I don't know him anymore. <laughs> I don't think he lives in Park anymore, funny enough, after that. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking legend. Oh, let's see. <laughs> when I was working with Nicky... Yeah. He goes, look at this, I found a fucking shitload of CDs in an alley. He oh, just yeah. showed me to the back of his van where he had a wet shoebox filled with wet CDs. I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, found them for free in an alley. I'm like, have you got a CD player? And he looks at me without a hint of irony, I- irony and just says, no. <laughs> <laughs> what the what was this? Nicky. Just recently. Yeah, it was uh, a couple of weeks ago. But... <laughs> what, what kind of CDs were they? Were they like... Steps and Spice Spice Girls was it like uh, metal I, I stuff? I think they were all I think they were all shit alleyway CDs. <laughs> <laughs> like Morrissey, is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's a fucking potato, isn't he? Ugh. I worked. They're talking about um, doing a Smiths reunion. No, they're not. Oh, Johnny Marr was like, "Look at this video," and it's just a video of Morrissey being like the most pretentious cunt you could ever fucking imagine. Yeah, it's like, my music's the best because I say so. Yeah, like it's just fucking insane. What a mental thing to say. That, that is just the aura of someone who hasn't been punched hard enough before. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, you see him every now and again, they walk around, he's like, you've never been punched in the face really fucking hard before. <laughs> when I was writing these songs, I could just tell us the pen hit the paper, it was going to be a hit. Then I looked really confused about something, really concerned. Hyper concerned. He okay. lost the audio or something. Nah, he's, he's fucking enhancing, but he's locking in. He's, seeing stuff. he's gone deeper into space. Oh, yeah. fucking hell, my headphones have just decided to stop working. Yeah. Oh yeah, so I got you. It. I can hear myself in the background. <laughs> why, why have these decided to shit the bed? Are they wireless or? Yeah. Fuck me! Fuck <laughs> it's bad days getting badder. Yeah. Yeah, technology's not fucking working. I don't open over there. I can't see that far. Check your audio preferences, Dylan. There you go. You're back in my headphones. Edge. That guy. I don't no, know, fucking... Can't, you. can't fucking hear you. Why, God, why? Why? Ah. <laughs> I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> that bit, your lips red feed my fucking head every day, that does. <laughs> At least once a day, I think, uh, I just got... <sighs> There's yeah. no other videos in that channel either because like, I've done a deep dive on it. Like I, I can't find nothing. There's no context to that. Like, I don't know if it's fake. I don't know if it was real. It just, I need to know. It felt uh, fake. Okay. I've done something similar. Where, uh, I can't... But that punch sounded fucking real, you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, Proper this slant, is... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just love it out of context video. They're the fucking best, man. It's like that. I got some, uh, I, the, I got some backup ooh. headphones. I can hear you again. Fuck, I headphones like. Mm. We're just talking about iconic fucking like old school videos like that. I can't believe you've done that video. I can't believe you've done this. Oh, I can't believe you've done this. I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> okay. I swear, um, you know, if I was like three takes into a video and one of my friends yeah. just punched me in the head, um, I would You'd fucking kill him. <laughs> I think if I was completely exhausted, I think I'd hit it. I can't believe you've done this. Because <laughs> it doesn't, like... like it, it's not gr- grammatically correct either, is it? Because it, it'd be, I can't believe you've done that. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Why no, have you I done this? I can't, I can't, I can't believe, believe you've done, done this. No, I think it's correct. 
<laughs> it's been done to you. I can't believe you've done this. Ah, <laughs> oh. oh, that dude when he's um, it's like a teenage kid sitting down at a house party and he's watching his bird vape. He just turns to the camera and goes, "Wow." <laughs> yeah, I saw that today, and I haven't seen her in years. I, I think that. I think there's a bit of a conspiracy with that because that's a that's a vine, right? And vine was really mm. really popular. Yeah, everyone used it, and lots of people who are on Vine are now millionaires. So they were making money off the app somehow. Yeah, and ad revenue. Yeah, so Vine was really popular, and then it just ended, and then it like got a year later, out. like a year later, TikTok starts, and it's the same thing. Yeah, so I'm, deal sh- with that. I'm sure. Of, about that. I'm sure TikTok. Got, I'm sure they bought Vine out, or something happened. Like I'm sure there was a toy takeover, or something. And Vine was absorbed by someone else. Does that, does that, that seems that seems viable, but I've not heard about that. Did Vine get bought? That's sort of a, Vine was an American show, but the company was the company was bought by Twitter. Ah, uh, yeah, right. there you go. that's weird. Why was that's weird. Going? That's probably why like all the social media apps started to get shorts. Then yeah, they bought that up, started making shorts, and then went over to fucking Facebook. Twitter, and Twitter doesn't have shorts, from what I understand. I, I, I've never used it. Yeah, I've never used it. I've really never used I'm Twitter. I'm not narcissistic enough to use Twitter. Like, what, what do you use my... Twitter for? It's just like journalists and politicians put stuff on there. Yeah, it's, it's just to make yourself feel important enough that everybody needs to know everything you're thinking all the time. Like, fucking nah. <laughs> what? I use like social media to look at funny pictures. Yeah, but this is funny. It's uncouth. This fucking wild. But <laughs> you can't really get that dirty in 200 characters. Let's be honest, you know. I can say the N word a hell of a lot. <laughs> Even more if you take the spaces out. <laughs> no, I'm dyslexic. Yeah. I swear I was saying ginger, 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 ginger. It says digger, what are you on about? <laughs> <laughs> the best vine I'm of seeing is the uh what's worse than a predator? A child. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> oh fucking hell. <laughs> oh, that yeah. was the peak, I think. Yeah, my yeah. guy. Black people dominated Vine. Yeah, man. They're funny, though, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> like, well, in a good way. Like, they, 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 they make me laugh. They fucking make humorous jokes. Like, Have you seen what I checked I... in the group chat? No, on our group Instagram. It's a, it's the second video of this that exists, but it's a parent going to a black child. It's like, do the nay-nay or I'm going to beat your ass. <laughs> <laughs> and they're making a the child dance so they don't get a whooping. Nay-nay or you're getting a whooping. Nay-nay or you're getting a whooping. And then there's, there's just a child desperately hitting the nene so they don't get beat. I remember you showed me a video before this kid was like getting around with something and he threw up and like the mother started beating him. This is like, what yeah. the fuck is this? Class it is. Yeah, I love Probably that. Parent, didn't I found it on my phone, actually. <laughs> I got saved, like. I saved on my you phone. You were the one that took the video. <laughs> but the best part of that video is the dad that's recording it. When she starts. Yeah, as soon as it starts up. He goes, oh, you don't want to see that? And turns the phone away. <laughs> uh you know <laughs> he's been the receiving end of that too many times probably uh, i can't imagine being hit by my wife nah you can to a certain degree absorb girl punches yeah like fucking yeah don't like fucking there's a difference though, between getting like hit or like like slapped you know what i mean there's a fucking big difference like because fucking it doesn't take a lot of force like to, like if you get cocked in the fucking cheek or something to catch the bone like that's gonna fucking yeah, you're, I you're slapped like... in the jaw before that sort of half knocked me out. Yeah, <laughs> by a girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was on a bus and she slapped me so hard. I don't know why. I think I called the mother a horse. Something like that. She just fucking did a full fucking three sixty, slapped me right legend. in the fucking jaw. Like, Serious back, question. Back against the, the bus window. The most important question was her mother a whore? I can't remember. Mm-hmm. Nah. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I remember before I was walking a girl home from like it was like you know when you like you went to like loads of birthday parties when you were sixteen and seventeen because like you didn't really know the person but like everyone in school went because you like yeah, hey, you don't yeah. get pissed. Yeah, I remember yeah. walking one of these birds home from that because they lived up Good Park Road, so I was like I'll oh, fucking walk home with my buddies now. And there, there was rumors going around that, that she was a lesbian. So me, 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 I was just like, so you a lesbian then? <laughs> and I like, giving her a fag to like fucking she bummed the fag off me. She yeah. fucking stumped the fag in my fucking face, man. It's not gonna fucking scar. Yeah. Jesus Christ, that's yeah. a reaction. <laughs> and, yeah, that's that's what I said. I was like, what the fuck was that about? <laughs> and then fucking two minutes later, she's gonna get a piggyback over. I was like, no, you just stubbed a fag up my fucking face. What do you want about? <laughs> Teenage girls are insane and just think they're yeah. above any sort of repercussion. I fucking <laughs> I was just well, they were. Girl, I didn't do anything. <laughs> oh, but fucking when I was in school, this girl, um, I was listening to Marilyn Manson on my O2 Ice phone. Nice. Um, <laughs> and she was one of the alternative girls, so I don't know why she got fucking upset about it. She slapped it out of my hand and was like, stop playing that goth shit. And I was like, okay. And then she slapped me across the face, knocking my glasses off. 
And I was like, okay. And then she just gets in my face and goes like, what are you going to do about it? So I just go like, ah, click, click, click. And then just throw my head through her head. <laughs> head butted well, her and she hit the floor fair. like a sack of shit. And I was like, I ain't getting in trouble for that one. <laughs> what if you've stooped with them? Yeah, my first time <laughs> she fancies you. <laughs> I've done this before. I've I've made that mistake before. Um, <laughs> I've said it on the podcast before. And I've told that story on the podcast before. I don't condone hitting women. Uh, I was hammered, dressed as Danny DeVito as the trash man for Halloween. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and we were outside Phil and there was this, this girl coming up to me. And she takes my glasses off. And I was like, whoa, I need to fucking see you, mad bitch. <laughs> I put them back on. She's like, oh, sorry. And then she's like, I don't know, she dropped them or something. I'm like, but I thought she threw them on the floor. I'm like, what are you doing? Uh, yeah. I pick them up and I'm like, oh, fuck, dirty now. And then she sprayed perfume in my face. I think trying to clean my glasses or she just wanted me to smell her perfume. <laughs> I was just like, ah, oh, what the fuck? Now you're trying to blind me? What the fuck? <laughs> so I just took her hat, which was an expensive hat, and I threw it as far as I could. It just went all the way down Warmanby Street. <laughs> like a fucking frisbee like. yeah. and then I, I then I got thrown out and I was like I had a bin I had a trash bin I'm the trash man get my bin yeah. so I got my bin and I was like I was angry I was like Nikki can you believe that fucking happened can you believe that and I was like I tell you I think she was flirting with him but <laughs> so from his like outside perspective it was completely different and I misinterpreted every single thing that was happening I just launched this girl's hat <laughs> I dread to think how many times I've accidentally done that because I'm aloof as fuck at the best of times. I know it. I've just walked into situations. Somebody said something. I've just gone the complete different direction. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think I think of all the times I've missed like a signal a girl's been sending me. I remember going to a party once and I had some. Yeah, no means no, bedroom. Rob. Stop missing those signals. <laughs> right, long st- long story short, I had some booze up in her room. Right, it was, it was totally no dodgy reason. I was there at a party really early for a totally different reason. But I was at this party. Talking to this girl, and she says to me about half ten, "Should we go and finish off? Should we go and do some shots in my room with that booze you brought earlier?" And I just go, "Just bring it downstairs. Everyone can do a shot." It's fucking stupid, that, isn't it? Oh yeah. <laughs> and some guy actually said to me, "Bro, you should have gone up." <laughs> I was like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> "Oh no!" <laughs> I done the same as well. Fucking outside metros, who's his beard to come up? We'd be talking all night, and like she was getting a bit pissed, and she was like. You know what they like, like hold eye contact, and I don't like that because I don't make eye contact, so I'm always like fucking. <laughs> and she's holding eye contact, and I'm like, ah, get a bit sketchy. She's like, I think I got a chance tonight to go home with someone really nice, but uh, I don't know whether I should get a taxi home instead. That was he, because I'm a little bit drunk. So I was like, oh, lovely. I think you should just get a taxi home, I reckon. I think that's probably the best thing you should do. And she was just like, <laughs> 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 and someone to me, like, but I can't believe you just done that. I was like, what? <laughs> and then he said, I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I remember in school, there was a girl who kept trying to sit next to me, and um, she one day she asked me for my number so she could ask me, I, she asked me for my number and I said to her no because you're just going to ring me to ask you to help me with your homework all the time <laughs> why did I do that <laughs> she was fit as well I'm fucking stupid <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot my first thought was <laughs> I don't want to spend my time helping you no. with things <laughs> Oh, that's exactly how our brains work though isn't it because it's just like you just doing this to fucking annoy me yeah. <laughs> like it does, it does a click, click, there's a social thing it it. yeah it's like oh fuck it there's another thing I gotta worry about <laughs> oh. oh to be young again then. I say oh, young I, that probably honestly, happened a couple years ago <laughs> someone said to me you can go back to be like 14 years old but you, you have all the mem- have all the knowledge you've accumulated now <laughs> fuck me I... <laughs> but you have to yeah. chop a homeless man in half with a katana <laughs> oh, I'd chop fucking insane. thousands of them <laughs> I'd oh. beat up in a week <laughs> I'd be a plague <laughs> oh I wonder if I did one if the lust I'd be like I can't stop a one this like is Patrick like Pringles <laughs> that'd be it's a slasher film though wouldn't it same feed me a cat <laughs> that'd be a sick start chasing prostitutes rampage. around with a chainsaw <laughs> okay you need to wear an outfit, though, if you're going to rampage. Like, something iconic, like an overcoat and nothing. Yeah, like, like Jason's, Jason's got the mask. Freddie, yeah. Freddie, we'll say Freddie Mercury, then. Freddie, yeah. Uh... He's got the moustache. Uh... <laughs> mm. What's his name? Freddie no, Nightmare on Elm Street. Freddie, what's his surname? Freddie Krueger. Yeah. Yeah. Freddie Krueger, that's the one. Yeah. Freddie Flintoff. He looks like Freddie Krueger now, with his, all his facial <laughs> scars. Oh, yeah. that was harsh. <laughs> they're on what about like, that's when we knew it was time to end top gear no it was like fucking five years ago yeah when all the gear. presenters that everyone liked left <laughs> yeah yeah didn't like what was his name the main one head honcho 
Oh, can't remember his fucking Clarkson, name. Did he punch Clarkson. someone? Yeah, Clarkson punched yeah, someone. Yeah, over a sandwich or something. Yeah, he punched loads of people, though, apparently. Apparently, he's had like, multiple fist fights with like, Piers Morgan as well, haven't he? Class. Like, fucking hate each other, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. He does come across a bit of a cock to the OPS. Like, he, he doesn't seem like somebody you could have a pint with because he'd just be accusing him or something all the time. Like, yeah, like, oh. I don't like him. Nah. He, just, he, 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 he pretends he has principles, but he doesn't. Nah. I, lo- I, mm, I don't know. I kind of like him. He's just a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Just watch him rinse someone. It's like, ah, oh, yeah. I get his YouTube shorts like, coming from his like, chat show all the time on my algorithm. And that's fucking so fucked. Because like, he, he just gets like the worst of both sides just to fucking argue. And he's just like, oh. Mm. But, yeah, right, everyone then. just looks stupid. Yeah. Should we call it for this week? Yeah, I'm running out of steam now. Mm. That was good, that was. Fuck yeah, don't you? Good high energy cast. Mm. Oh. I'm going to try and find who this uh, Mr. Like Edward Kidner is now. Not yet, motherfucker. I've got another two months of me. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, December, I'm 30. Oh, yeah. Right, you're not, you're not in your 30s yet. No, man. No, nope. fucking hell. You're like bleeding out of his ass. <laughs> <laughs> you're looking about fucking 40. <laughs> I know about a few there. <laughs> All right. Good night. I love Bye, you, guys. Love you, boys. Ta-ra, boys. Yeah, Bye. Bye. Bye.